ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Elise Sherritt. And I'm Cece Bridge. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it. And the latest weather update? But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside down house which rests on its roof. Inside there are beds screwed to the ceiling, upside down wardrobes, an upside down kitchen and even an upturned bathroom. We now cross to our first reporter, Alex Campbell. Thanks. Kia ora. I'm here with the owner of the house. Wait, it's upside down. Barbara. So what made you just decide to build this upside down house? I was in a museum and I saw a model of a house, but it was upside down. So I was like, why can't I make a house that's upside down? So what's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? I like it when I see my dog walking on the ceiling and when I get in and out, oh, when I see the delivery man's face. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? Probably getting in and out of the doorways and showering. Do you have any more crazy plans up your sleeve? Um, there's one. I'm going to make a house for my dog, but it's going to be upside down like mine. Oh, how cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Cece and Elise. Now, for a story that is truly out of sight, Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Florence McCormack. Hello, I'm Macy, and with me is... Barbara. The scientists behind the invisibility, villi, inv, invisibility cloak. Today's, <laughs> today's show is a bit different. It's... Today, I'm going to be asking her questions, she's going to be answering, asking me questions. So what made you want to invent a new Well, you see, when I was younger, I watched the show Harry Potter. You've probably all heard of it. It's amazing. And then I saw it. The invisibility cloak. A weapon that can make you go completely invisible. You see, I had an addiction when I was a kid. It's called being a snapaholic. <laughs> yeah, I, every night I would steal at least 20 kilograms of food before I went to bed. I know, that's a lot. It's bad. So, I decided... Well, why don't I make a cloak that will never get me caught? Because one fateful night, my mum did catch me. Wow. Can you show me how this invisibility cloak works? Of course. I'd love to. So, you see, it's here. But it doesn't look completely invisible. It's still got a bit of a shadow. All you have to do is throw it in the air, catch it, and then, voila. A perfect protection from anyone who's trying to find you. That's awesome. I'm sure there's a question that everyone's been wanting to ask you. What made you want to become a reporter? Well, ever since I'm a little, I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be on just a show. And it's just always been my dream. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Well, you see, this cloak here is a very special piece of technology. But I want it to be used for kids, not something that another thing that adults can claim for theirs. I want kids to be able to use it for all their fun activities. For me, it started with some snacks from the pantry, but for others it might be hide and go seek or sneak up granny. You never know, but I want this piece of equipment to fall into the hands of a child. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. 
Thanks, Florence. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime covering the country, thanks to the underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say, we are stitching together the case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Charlotte Park with an exclusive interview. I'm Charlotte and joining me is a member of the Midnight Knitters gang. Yo, yo, Jolin, and thanks for joining us. What led us into the dark under underworld of knitted graffiti? Ever after my grandma passed away, I decided I would love to spread her love of knitting around the world. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? No, because all I'm doing is trying to spread more joy around the world with my knitting. Apart from trees, lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with wool? Me and my group are planning to knit phone booths and more trash cans. Thanks for your time. Back to y'all in the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Margot and Saffron. What's in store? Thanks, Cece. And Elise. Let's look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are just the conditions and you'll have to accept them. There will be no weather for, at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short break, but it's expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day, so no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be calm, cold and unfriendly until late morning, then the sun will come over. I think everyone likes the sun. That's all from us. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Margot and Saffron. Finally, it's time for Two Minutes with Charlotte Park, who's talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Charlotte. Hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with me. I'm Mai. Joining me today is... Rachel and Charlotte. Who have been crowned the world's greatest liars. Hello, Charlotte and Rachel. What is the most outrageous lie you've ever told? Well, I told my sister that I have went back in time and became the president of pigs. And I told her she can too, if she ran through the door. And she kind of bumped her head and went unconscious. I told my brother that I could fly. I told him that if he found a really tall building and jumped off and flapped his arms, he could fly. He tried it and fell and broke both his legs, both his arms, his back and his neck. Wawa, do you lie all the time or is it just when you're in competitions? No, just when we're in competitions. We think it's just rude. Um, we try not to lie to our family and friends because why not? Are you lying to me right now? Fine, you caught us. No, you didn't. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm Mai. Back to News Desk. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Cece. And I'm Elise for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.